So which mixer is gonna be the right one for you? We're gonna go through it. Is it going to be the KitchenAid Artisan or is it gonna be the KitchenAid Professional 600? Let's start going through. We're gonna start right here in the front and kind of work our way. Obviously that this bowl here is a little bit smaller than the Pro one here. The bowl is a little bit bigger. Um, they both kind of lock in the place. Uh, this one locks in at the base and this one here has the little clips on the side. Now in order to actually uh, get your stuff in and out. The Pro is going to come up like that and that's going to engage the uh, the mechanism that's actually going to spin. And this one over here, it's got a little lock on the side and you're going to lift it up and then put your piece in there and then bring it back down. So something to think about is height. Now obviously when this is just sitting here, this is a fixed height. It's not gonna vary and move back and forth where this one is going to vary and it's gonna get higher, but as it's closed, it's gonna be much lower. So think about that if you're thinking about where it's gonna be in your cabinetry. Another small thing to think about is right here for the attachments. This is where we, it kind of can loosen up and it's got a little hinge where you're gonna put your attachment. This one here, there is no hinge. You just have to undo it, set it down on the side somewhere while you use your attachment when you're done. You can push it back in and then re-screw it in to hold it in place. This one is always just gonna sit there and you're not gonna lose it. Not a big deal. Um, this one's got a little bit more power onto it and it's a little bit more sturdy because these little things here on the side help hold it in place a little bit better. Um, and this one did come with the little splash guard up here. So it gets less splashage. Um, now this is, I think, better for regular home use. It's a little bit smaller, so you can put it away easier and you're gonna get a little bit more you know, storage space. This one's a little heavier, it's bigger, but it's got that more professional grade motor. This is the professional grade. In fact, I got this from a bakery and I've been using that one since. After using both of them, which one do I think is better? I think they're pretty similar, especially if you're not using them on a day-to-day -day basis. If it's something that you're gonna use every day, I would definitely go with the Pro. If it's something that you use every once in a while, I think that the Artisan does just fine. Um, they both have very similar attachments. They've got you know the main beater attach mixer attachment. They've got a beater and uh, they also have a dough hook that comes with each one. Now, the, these attachments are not interchangeable between each one for the ones that go inside the bowl because the bowls are different size. So these are gonna be a little bit longer and made for this one. This one's gonna be made for this one. But when it comes to the pro attachments that attach into here, they, those are going to be universal. Now on the side where the power is, that's about the same on both, on both of them, you've got the power. It really comes down to what makes sense for you. Obviously they come in different colors. This one was nice because it matched some of my other red stuff in the kitchen and when I left it on the counter, it looked really nice on the counter. This one is more of the workhorse to get stuff done. And when I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done, both of them are gonna get the job done. It really depends on what makes most sense for you.